The Ultimate Fighting Championship, also known as the UFC, has grown to become one of the biggest venues for MMA fighters. Whatever these fighters do in their personal lives can be just as important as their skill in the cage. Here are 10 photos the UFC doesn't want you to see. Before the bell rings, be sure to subscribe to our channel to know what's going on with the richest every day. SWAT Team In February of 2014, veteran UFC fighter Tiago Silva sent his wife a string of threatening texts and eventually threatened to kill her and others in a martial arts gym. The fighter eventually barricaded himself in his Florida home, holding his wife hostage. A SWAT team eventually had to take him out and afterward he was arrested and charged with two counts of attempted murder, aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, and obstruction without violence. While the UFC declared that he would never fight for the organization again, the incident soiled their reputation. Unfortunately, photos live on. Hold that junk. Dana White and Tiki Gossin seem to be quite close. In this photo, we seem to see a few bros just hanging out and having some fun. While Tiki gets pretty handsy, Dana doesn't seem to mind at all. We don't really see what happened before and after this photo, but chances are the UFC is trying to pretend it doesn't exist by not giving it any attention. This was likely done in the hopes that no one would remember coming across this photo. Oops. Your queen. UFC fighter Angela Magana wasn't too thrilled with Chris Cyborg's answer to the question of how females should get their start in MMA fighting. Cyborg said, make a bunch of photo shoots and spend more time on Instagram and Facebook than training. And Magania took it one step further and posted a bunch of nude selfies on her Twitter. While you can't see much except for maybe her butt, the UFC didn't seem to be thrilled, as they have their own sanctioned photographers for implied nude photos of their fighters. Rampage there's no speculation that Quentin Rampage Jackson lives a party lifestyle along with being a UFC fighter. But what Rampage doesn't seem to realize is that just because you might be doing some seedy things in the darkness of a nightclub, all it takes is one bright flash to reveal all your shady business, which is exactly what's happening in this photo. But most UFC fans know that Rampage doesn't care what the rest of the world thinks, even if the UFC would rather these photos not surface. What you doing down there? Ronda Rousey is no doubt one of the most memorable and iconic female UFC fighters in this decade, and she has worked hard for her success despite some losses. While we lift her up on a pedestal and measure her up to a godlike standard, the world forgets that she is a normal person who trains hard and probably enjoys spending time and partying with friends to let loose. One such photo surfaced of one of her friends undoing her belt with their teeth and Rhonda looking a bit embarrassed. The UFC would rather fans concentrate on their fighters' performance rather than their parting. That's gotta hurt. Getting injured is all part of the UFC and MMA lifestyle, and if you don't get a few injuries here and there, you aren't doing it right. But while Matt Mitrione was fighting against Travis Brown, he became the victim of illegal eye pokes from his opponent. This resulted in Mitrione getting a broken eye socket and having one of the craziest looking eye injuries in UFC history. While it can be seen as a badge of honor, the UFC wasn't keen on having this injury be the look of the organization. Tweet Standoff Jason Mayhem Miller was always known to be a bit eccentric, both in the ring as well as his personal life. From being arrested for passing out naked in a church to stalking and domestic abuse, it seems that Mayhem can't stay out of trouble. When the Orange County Police came to arrest him in 2014, he barricaded himself in his home and things escalated to the point the SWAT team was called. During the whole ordeal, Mayhem was tweeting about it. Photos of his apprehension went viral, much to the UFC's embarrassment. Mugshot Nick Diaz is the older brother of UFC fighter Nate Diaz and is also a UFC fighter himself who has a real problem with alcohol. 
This particular mugshot is from his 2015 arrest for his third DUI. He had already been cut a deal for his two previous DUIs and still managed to only spend two days in jail for the third incident. The UFC wasn't pleased at all with Nick's decisions as they reflect poorly on the organization. Having a good time Chuck Liddell is certainly known for being quite the party boy as photos of his lifestyle continue to surface that include alcohol, topless women, and massive shenanigans. Even though Liddell has since retired from fighting and owns a few bars of his own, he is still held to a high standard because he's a former UFC fighter. Is it fair? Probably not. Does the UFC approve? Definitely not. Feminism in January 2015, UFC fighter Beck Rawlings created quite a stir on Twitter when she posted a nude selfie about New Age feminists and how they want to demoralize men and belittle women who don't conform. With one arm, she is covering her breasts and her hand is sporting the middle finger, while her other hand is covering up her privates with a message that she believes in human rights for all. What does the UFC think? Only those on the inside know, but one can imagine this isn't how they want their fighters to behave. Are you a UFC fan? What do you make of these photos? Leave us a comment down below and let us know. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up before you go, and why not take a look at these other videos you might enjoy? Thanks for watching.